Well, we're back. <laughs> oh man, I've been traveling so much and haven't been able to do the gullah readings. Yeah. And then I went on a silent thing, you know, for 52 days. Hey, what, I beat Jesus by 12 days? Hey, he did 40 days, 40 nights. I did 52. What can I tell you? Um, oh, I won't start reading. I gotta get the, gotta get the, um, the New Testament out. Um, as you may or may not know, well, let me just know that. Oh, this is a, well, let's start officially, you know. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll explain some stuff too. Well, let me explain the set first. Uh, every time I go someplace, uh, I'm always going someplace, then I create a new set <laughs> for my, uh, for my uh, basically for my YouTube stuff. Uh, Instagram, I just go wherever I am. Uh, so this, we're going to do a Gullah reading. And so the, with the Gullah, then there's a whole other thing. Uh, when I do my uh, uh, Sunday sermons, that's a whole other thing. Then when I do my regular rantings, that's a whole other thing. But this is the color readings. And this is how we, oh, I better say, yeah, I said I was going to do a set. Uh, as usual, let's go back here. Oh, I'm at my uh, my brother's house, you know. Uh, I'm at my brother's house, uh, James Kanye. Um, this is a mud, this, that up there, that's a mud cloth uh, coat that he gifted me one time. Actually, I put it on, I'll put on it. He said, it looks better on you. Have it. That's the word brothers are for. What can I say? It's like right now, I'm at his place. Why? Because I'm in New York and not in Virginia or not in South Africa. Uh, in the Eastern Cape or whatever. I have got to stay someplace. And so, you know, he's my brother. He can't deny me. You know, I say, hey, brother, I need. He says, he can't say nothing. He said, come on, come on. If it's um, oh, and, oh, and uh, that over there, see that picture there? Little. This is uh, my grand nephew. When he took this picture, COVID had just started or within the middle of it. But uh, we didn't tell him to do that, put that power fist in the air. He did it himself. This, this, really, I'm serious. It was just with his mother. I want this one. Like that. Uh, and it was just an impromptu fact. Here's a big, here's a regular, here's a picture of it. See? That's his. See, that's the original picture, and I just, whatever, whatever. That's his. Uh, Mother, my niece. Okay, so he stayed. Wherever I go in the place in the world, he stays with me. He's over, over either over my right shoulder or my left shoulder. He's someplace. Sometimes you see him. Sometimes you don't. Oh, this is a this right here is mud cloth. This is a button. Well, this is a. Uh, well, that's from the east. That's from the east. Is, uh, don't worry about that. I'll tell you some other time. This button here. See, and then look at the colors too. The colors match the uh, mud cloth. Mud cloth very similar. This from a. Uh, Reverend Leo down in South Carolina, he starts his move, he started his movement called Justice First. And that's part of the down there with the Gullah folks, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what that is. But strangely enough, it matches the the mud cloth so well that I just and I'll carry the mud cloth for it's like a, it's like a blanket to me sometimes. So anyway, so it's a connection there because that's that's where the, the Gullah people are, you know what I mean? But plus there well there are other places too. Let me Oh, this is a picture. Oh, I don't have my reading glasses. I left him in South Africa. I said, what? Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, this picture, picture of me and my wife taken in uh, uh, in, in Alice, uh, at the Caney in uh, uh, South Africa, well, the Eastern Cape, right? Now, if you'll notice, see, she's wearing my glass. Well, she likes the glasses, so she's wearing it like that. The brother that cropped this picture <laughs> in the shop, he said, oh, I got to get the, the, you know, the, Judah's got to be, you know, the, he's a Rasta, you know what I mean? Well, he, he's not dressed like a Rasta. He works in a uh, print shop or whatever. Have you. But he was very adamant that they get that in there. But here's this interesting thing about this picture. That somebody told me, we could be any place uh, in Africa. And in, in, we can be any Well, the Rasta's all over. We can be any place. We're like a universal. See, that? It's like a universal cu couple kind of thing. Can any place in Africa, you know, could be, could be any place, you know? And we look like a regular, you know. Well, she's South African. She has a, where you go, she has roots, I think, uh, that, you know, the Zulu claim everybody, so I don't know, but she has uh, Zulu and, and, uh, and Kwisan, you know, the, the original, original, uh, you know, the South African, you know, with the bows and you know, they hunt people down, or no, hunt animals down, stuff like that. So she's always someplace. Uh, with me, I guess now I should start formally, what's this thing? Uh, are these a color reading? 
Oh, by the way, oh, oh God, I know like this. Sorry about this. I know it's taking long, but we're setting this back up. You know what I mean? I won't. These are the very short. If you notice this T-shirt I'm wearing, it says um, Garifuna. I say Garifuna like that way because um, it's uh, it's from Honduras. Is the guy that made this T-shirt from Honduras? So see, see, it's a it's Garifuna. I don't know if you can see that like that. What's the back for you? I don't know. Uh, but the people who are my descendants, well, how this all comes together is the Gullah, the Geechee Gullah folks. They are uh, in South Carolina CIs, but they're also in uh, parts of Georgia, right? But it's the sort of same um, lineage, not lineage, same, uh, let's call it clan. I want to say lineage, clan. That's also um, uh, part of the, well, they say, uh, 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 they say Garifuna because it's Spanish, but oh, the, in English pronounced it would be Garifuna. You see, you see, her? see, and then and the Garifuna people, people oh, Garifuna, Garifuna people there, and well, they were dropped off in Honduras. <laughs> this is a great story. Oh, look, I'm gonna take time. This is a great story. Um, here's here's the way here's the way it, it, the, the Garifuna Garifuna people, which is related to the color people, but as far as language and stuff like that. And also fierceness of warriors. Ooh wee! You don't want to anyway. Uh, let me see. The English, the English had a slave ship or whatever. Having they, they, they were transporting uh, the captives, you know, the kidnapped captives, whatever you want to say, to, to to be enslaved over to the, you know, I guess they was going either to Jamaica or Cuba, wherever they was going. Right? It must have been Jamaica because it was English. So because the early ones they was in Cuba because it was what Portuguese, Spanish, Spanish, you know. Everybody be jumping on black people all over, you know, and they, they, they continue to this day. That's why, hey, that's why the Griffin and Garifuna people, the people like the, the Gullah Geechee people are like, we ain't taking it. We just keep on fighting. We keep on fighting. We keep on fighting, you know, just like, and some people give up the fight. They they, they call it armistice. They call it peace, whatever have you. That would be, uh, oh, let me not jump on that because then they'll be all, I'll be all whatever. No, I'll leave them alone right now. Uh, but a lot of places in the world, uh, they, they didn't really win their liberation. They sort of come to a draw. But they don't understand is that the uh, the, uh, the the Anglo's they don't stop either. <laughs> they cut this stuff and they keep on going, right? Okay. So anyway, so 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 the ship uh, they got a sort of shipwreck. So somehow they had to have repairs, and they uh, I think it's St. Thomas. They they dropped off at St. Thomas. Now at the time you had the um, uh, the Arawak people. You know the Arawaks from South America. You know. And they were known as fierce, you know, fierce, whatever. So the uh, so the captain of the ship dropped her, uh, said, oh, these people ain't going to the place. So he led them off into the island. You know, so I guess it was St. Thomas, St. Vincent's, St. Vincent's. Oh, I forget which one. I got this whole history, whatever. I, I got it from uh, when I was in Belize. Anyway, anyway either St. Vincent's or St. Thomas, one of those islands like that. And, uh, and they were repairing the ship. But then the the, 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 the enslaved, you know, the, the captives, they sort of talk to the Arawaks somehow. They communicate. They say, hey, yo, brothers, <laughs> we in a pickle. <laughs> so, literally, we in a pickle barrel there, you know? And so, can you do something? They say, okay, look, here's what we do. We dig this hole, put you in there, keep quiet. Shh, doop, 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 doop. When they look for you, they ain't going to find you because, you know, we know our island. So, sure enough, the the, the, the captain had other stuff in, 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 aside from slaves uh, or enslaved or captors or whatever you want to call us. Uh, uh, had them uh, uh, was went look for them. Then they said, they said we can't find them. So they figured this was this is the way this is the way your Anglos think. This is this is called uh, uh, historical racism. They figured, hey, these people they they ate them. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just tell you what I got from several villages uh, um, in Belize and 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 in Belize and. Uh, Guatemala, because the people, could, anyway, that's what they thought, right? And so, anyway, so they left because they had other stuff, whatever it is. I guess they, they were insured or whatever it is, so they, they wasn't going to lose no money. So when they left, the, you know, they came out, right? And then they started uh, co-mingling with the, with the Araraks, which were like, you know, from, like I said, South America, and they were like part, I guess, some Spanish with blood in them, but mostly um, the uh, Autochthonous blood, or what the Arawak blood, like that. So they sort of made it, and they became and then you then you had sort of a separate group because you know the the black genes are like dominant power. I want to say I don't like to say dominant because that means something. 
They are, that's what they say, whatever, but they're powerful. And so then you had the black Arawax and the uh, original Arawax. I just call them, I don't know, whatever, brown, red, whatever they are. Okay. So then the, 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 uh, <laughs> the English, this, I, this is great. The English and the, and, the, and the French had some sort of beef, you know, boom, 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 boom. And so the English who knew like this fiercest warriors were the black Arawax. Because uh, by that time, whatever settled, they, they found out, whatever whatever was happening. So they went to him and said, hey, look, we got this little tiff with the, uh, you know, with the French. Would you join us? You know, let's fight. And, uh, and so the, the, the black guy works. They go like, or what did they go like? Ah, uh, nah, that, you know, that's your fight. You know, that's that's the white man's fight. We, we you know, we ain't in it. Do, do your thing, right? And so they went about their business. And then the English went over to the, uh, to the original Arawak, you know, and say, hey, look, you know, da 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 da, da. and uh, and you know, would you help us, you know, da da, da and we could give you anything you want, blah, blah, whatever they said, and they said, yeah, okay, we we down with that, you know, we we don't like them French anyway because every time they came around, man, you know, they were really rude, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's funny to me. Okay, so so then uh so then the French came to the black guy wax and I say, hey. I don't know if you know this, but, you know, those guys that don't like you no more, right, they hanging out with the English, right? So, uh, I say, yo, I said, would you come in here and help us? Right? So, Black Arab said, oh, man, okay, sure, we help you, right? Well, it didn't turn out so, so well for my ancestors, my lineage and that, that side, right? Because I have lineage and, uh, and, and, and Gullah Geechee for my maternal side. And this, this story, I don't really know. I just... I don't say I, I, I didn't make this up. It's like I've traveled and I realized, look, I'm just like them. Don't matter. So, so I'm going like, so, so I'm sorry. So they go like, yeah, we'll, we'll help you. So, well, the French lost. <laughs> and since they lost, the, the, the English asked that, the, the, you know, the, the, the original Arawak, hey, well, what do you want to say? We want these, these cats, you know, these darker guys off the island. And so the English who, by that time, they they they, they done did all that stuff. With they they knew the they, they knew the air, the seaways, and all that stuff. So they said, "Okay, sure, we take them away." So they took them away, and they potted, they deposited them on the Raritan Islands, right? The Raritan Islands, well, not just I mean the rare well, the Raritan Islands is part of, of Honduras now, but they are just rocks. <laughs> It's just rocks, man. So the black Arabs go like, oh, wow. They learned to fish a little bit. Say, hey, but we got to we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. And so they, so, 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 so they went up to, part of went up to Belize. And so right now in Belize, you know, you have uh, Belize City. You have, you have Dangriga. You have uh, Saint Bite. Uh, you know, Placent, it was a Placent, well, uh, in, in, in which you have Georgetown. But they did not, uh, all the way down, uh, Punta Gorda, uh, Barranco, Belize. A hey, Barranco, Belize, I swear to you. My people has got to be there. I, that's my favorite. Absolute. I've been I've been a lot of places. Absolute favorite pet. I ain't been there in a long, 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 long time. When I was there, it was only like 350 villages, right? And they only had electricity from like, you know, I don't know, 9 o'clock at night to 12 or something like that. It was absolute. It's the home of the Red Snapper, right? Food. I, I, anyway, I love Barranco Belize. I got to get back there. And they probably all built up now. I ain't going to like it. Whatever. That, that's, where, that's where I saw a condor in the wild. That's what I don't know. Get it. It's just it's real jungle. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, so and then then of course you have uh, uh, Livingston, Livingston, Guatemala, and uh, and Puerto Barrios, Guatemala. And it keeps on going down. You of course Honduras. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 what is this? El Salvador? I don't know. If it's El Salvador, but uh, they have uh, Nicaragua. We have Bluefields, Nicaragua. I used to do a radio program. We send um, send uh, tapes down to Bluefields, Nicaragua. We got all these people looking at me. On down to um, all on down like uh, Costa Rica. Uh, these are all on the on say the east side of these countries because you know, so like the was it the Bay of Honduras and then it goes down and the east side going into I guess the Atlantic Ocean right uh, and then, then 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 you have Panama uh, Colon Panama like people these are these are, these are Garifuna people well, Garifuna is Spanish right um, uh, and and the word has it the reason why I, I my I, we think my father is like uh, uh, Gatafuna or Garifuna, if you want to say it, is because rumor has it he was a traveling musician. He was like a one night stand with my mama. He was a traveling musician from Colombo, Panama. In fact, when I when I right after my one of my my second trip out of the country, 
I was in, I went to Panama right before Noriega got all beat up, and, well, deposed, let's put it that way. Don't matter, that's another story. And they, all, all down down to, um, uh, 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 what is it, Colombia, Venezuela, Colombia, all, all down the coast because they're fisher people like that. Okay, I went through the whole thing just to tell you. I don't know why. Look, this is this is my YouTube channel, and a lot of times I'll be waxing, waxing, waxing. I have to take a little time because you know, these these are kind of short, right? So so with all that, uh, all I'm trying to say is the Gullah people. All these folks are all connected. You know, they're all they're all, and, and, and you know they're connected because these are uh, I say these are like. These are just fierce people, you know. I mean, they they just keep on going, you know what I mean. Especially Gullah Geechee. you don't do not mess. Let me not stop you. Okay, so I I had um I I had picked up uh, uh, I was listening to a, a radio program and they they, they anyway they, they they mentioned the the, the, the Gullah. I knew about the the, the Bible, uh, this Gullah Geechee, but I'm not a Bible person. But then I said, well, if this is my people, then I should have some sort of inroads into my thing in the, in the Gullah language, you know, Geechee language. Uh, it's a, you know, you get music, you know, or, 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 or a woman, <laughs> or in my case, a woman, right? Or some other way to entry into the, um, into the language or whatever. I don't have language facilities, so what can I tell you? So I figured I would spend some time, you know, reading the Gullah Bible, you know, this so well, let me start let me start officially so i start these readings and and don't they won't be uh long anymore they're all, they're all short uh, because i do many uh, so so i do it officially here so here's how i start a reading of the new testament from the Gullah Bible. Now this is uh, what it, what we do is we just pick any page. We just pick pick any page. Just go to any page. Uh, and I'm going to go to page uh, 634. Uh, 2, uh, 2 Corinthians 12. Uh, and uh, we'll go to uh, I guess I don't know. Well, let's go to well, let's go to 16. I hope I haven't read this before. So I haven't read it in a long time. Now you, oh, now, like I said, my my glasses. You don't my my reading glasses. They're in South Africa with my wife, right? So I don't have the reading glasses. However, da da. Read. Um, this is from see, see with, with the old people. They have all kinds of advice. They got reading glasses. They have something else. So I'm going to use this, but I don't have to use. This. Let me tell you. See what it is. Is, you know, you have the Gullah, the Geechee, then you have the small print, the, uh, basically the, because uh, this is based on the, uh, the New Testament from the King James Version of the Bible, because when, when they were freed, the only reading, reading material they had was, was the Holy Bible as rendered by King James, right, or, or his crew, his, uh, you know, you know, the, 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 the language is like that, that, the, the Marlowe language, you know, the Shakespearean language, and so, but that's in, that's in small things, so I'm going to have to use this to read it, because I'm an old guy, right? Okay. What did I say, 16? Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't know how to read it. I, I, I struggled through it, so you struggled through it with me, then I do the translation, then I do it one more time, so I don't know, you, you'll, you'll, you'll find out. You go back. So then, on a gone gee with me, the uh, ain't been no butter to on a, but Somebody gonna say, a da play trick on on a, and lie for catch on a. And the translation, I need this. The translation is, uh, where is the translation? Oh, there it is. But be, be, but be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Again, the Gullah oh, uh, reading is, so then on a gun git with the that I ain't, I uh, ain't, then no bother to on but somebody gonna say I done play trick upon on and lie for catch on And again, the translation is, 
Uh, but be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. So there you have it. A reading from the uh, New Testament of the Bill of Bible. A reading by uh, uh, me, T, from the Patterson Signature Trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.